Well, this is certainly a cavern. Look at how huge it is. My goodness, this is kind of insane. And now we get to fill it. I can't tell you how excited I am about this, you guys. I had a little sand mining expedition last night. Uh, there's another shulker box in my inventory, but this is how much gravel we have. And hey, if you haven't done sand mining with a Lays and an Efficiency 5 shovel, you're missing out. You should go do it. Right now. I don't know exactly how much black concrete I'm going to make, but I think four to six shulkers is a good start anyways. Let's see, I've got a bunch of wither roses. I don't know how much I'm actually going to need. All right, six stacks of black dye gave us almost two shulker boxes. And just like that, my stock of wither roses is completely out and uh, we don't have a full six boxes. <laughs> uh, we have like not even quite five. It's fine. All right, three stacks of TNT should be plenty, I should hope. This is an insane amount of nether wart, my goodness. Now we just fill up our inventory with black concrete powder. And I think we just place. All right, we have converted all of our stuff to actual concrete. We've also filled it back up with mud and it's turning into clay really fast. I didn't realize how fast that process was. All right, now we can actually get on our way. And you know what? Let's take the piston bolt for funsies. ba doom ba -doom. I know it's highly impractical for server transportation, but I love this. You know what I want to do? I want to get a certain achievement. Let's break like two of these torches over on this end. Maybe three. Yeah. So we'll make a dark patch there and then we will wander away. Wander, wander, or something like that, you know. Basically, I wanna get some achievements and I wanna get a specific achievement. I wanna get the sniper duel achievement. And well, I've been trying to get it here and there over and over for quite a while. So let's see if as mobs despawn or die up top, they start spawning in here. See, when I'm digging this space out, it is like instant. They're just like, if there is a dark spot, there is something spawned there. But the instant I want something to spawn there, no can do. Well, I guess let's talk about what we're going to be doing in here. I've got my eye on you. So, this floor, this area here is going to be a bit of a transition up to where our wall starts. Our interior, once the walls are in, is going to be, oh, what is that, 130 blocks tall and should be somewhere in the realm of 109 blocks wide. So it's an almost square, but not quite square. This entrance area is going to, like, this is a transition point. We'll have kind of our deep, or our deep slate floors and everything, but it's going to transition into the floor in here. Um, there's going to be a center strip that's going to be inlaid into this floor level. And that is going to be based on, well, it's, it's going to be based on an embroidery pattern. Um, I love doing my floors based on embroidery patterns. If you take a look around, like, an Amy. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> it's not going to work today, is it? <laughs> I have eyes everywhere. Just got to get closer to it. There's a skeleton right now. Ah, cool. I think it's just going to be hard to do on this server because of the render distance of Yeah, cuz I can't I can't see it. All right. This yeah, they 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 load out of render distance so quick. All right, if There's a skeleton Ah, there. there he is, there he is. Okay, let me back up as, okay, that's where he disappears for me. That was 
to... No, 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 eat! Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh, no, now he's too close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. In one direction. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, six, seven. Uh, does the center one count as one? Uh, no. Center one, one does not two, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then we just go all the way Excellent. to the other side. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. All, all right. All... <laughs> oh, there's a... immediately a cave here. Oh. <laughs> all right. And I think that should be all the materials that we collect from this project. Now I just need a place to put them. That's fine. Amy was talking about how our the the server like simulation distance is really low, so we might not be even be able to get the sniper duel achievement. Um so I might just and I think I think she's right. So we might go ahead and just light this back up. Let's see has anybody spawned in here? Spider. I'm getting the feeling this is going to be a very time lapsey episode. So, while we get into this first one, why don't I tell you a bit about the lore? Editing D here. In a tragic turn of events, we have uh, lost all of my replay recordings. So, no time lapses today, but you're still going to get all the lore. So, this castle was originally a hub that welcomed magic wielders from all over the world. It and the nearby harbor town have always been neutral ground. The castle had a constant flow of visitors as well as a smaller number of permanent residents, and of course had a variety of magical facilities which I'm super excited to develop. But over time, a blight began to creep out from unknown caverns below the castle. After fighting it unsuccessfully for many years, the mages locked the castle into a stasis which has maintained it for centuries. In current times, it has begun to attract visitors from all over, some of whom have all but taken up residence and brought in certain new technologies. Whether they are pursuing ancient knowledge or something more malicious, we have yet to find out. And that is the basic lore for this build. There's going to be many more details and so much more that we'll add and talk about as we go. But I am so obsessed with how this floor turned out. Now, obviously, these cracks and tendrils have something to do with the blight coming out of the depths below. And yes, we have a deep dark underneath this. And yes, we will be incorporating that. Now, since I last recorded, it's been like two weeks or more, and I have been sick and knocked out on my back, and my voice is still recovering. I had laryngitis for two weeks. So, apologies if you can hear that. But now I think we need to pick up this set of building items, and we should go ahead and pull out the next set of materials, which is finally all of that black concrete that we made. All right, we need a roof on here soon because this floor keeps getting covered up in snow and well, I'm not here for that. But first, so that we know we're in all the right spots, we need to build ourselves a few pillars. One of the things worth mentioning about the floor here is that this is all carpet, which means that we don't have to have any lights in here. It's going to be dark and mysterious. All right, there is what our pillars and arch support is going to look like. First things first, we spawn proof everything. And our center beam is going to be deep slate tiles. And because it's going to be right up against the roof, it's not actually going to need spawn proofing, but we will light it up for now. But there we have it. This is what our pillars in the center of the room are going to look like. Now we just need to, you know, replicate that a few times. Alright, well I think we're going to add a little bit of, like, structural integrity 
to these arches a little bit more reinforcement, but not very much. But for now, I'm gonna start placing some concrete. And I'm pretty sure that those five and a half boxes of concrete are gonna run out really, really fast. So let me know down in the comments before we get going. When do you think I'm gonna run out of concrete? How far through all of these walls can I get? Well, if you guessed two thirds, you were correct. We are very nearly all the way around on our next layer of three, three blocks. And that is taking us right about to the two thirds mark. So these areas are 18 blocks tall right now and they need to be 24. And I went in the middle of the night and made three and a bit more shulkers of concrete. So that should take us most of the rest of the way and anything else I can make pretty easily or, you know, buy in the shopping district. Shout out to the obelisk for having black dye for sale because I have gone through probably a shulker's worth at least of black dye for this. But speaking of lore, I got a visit from Amy the other day because she and Pearl are moving in nearby. So while I get these walls up and the roof on, ooh, let's go ahead and see what the lore is over Amy and Pearl's place. Pearl, Pearl mentioned trying to, trying to, to, um, merge the, the lore of our bases together uh -huh. eventually. Ooh, okay, okay, no here, here, let that. me tell you a little bit about the lore, and Pearl will want to hear this, but a little bit of the lore of, like, mm -hmm. the castle base is that it is, it's mm -hmm. abandoned, um, oh like, God, it, 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 it's oh. no longer inhabited, but oh. it... D, what is this? No comment. This wasn't here two seconds ago, D. <laughs> But why basically, is, why is, why basically, is there? basically, the, uh, oh! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> um, like it, it's been abandoned by the mages that built it, but it was built as like a gathering point for the mages of, of the lands around it. Um, and so it's kind mm -hmm. of like a neutral ground as far as like country goes, but it's, it, it's built to like accommodate mages and their studies and activities and things and even though it's abandoned it's still like um maintained by magic and then mm -hmm. explorers around have started um moving in and diving deep into its depths and there's going to be like a cyberpunk lab in the in the ancient city underneath stuff like that Ooh, I don't know how the cyberpunk's gonna merge in with our lore, but <laughs> I mean the rest of it could could make sense with the different mages. Every city yeah. having like a mage as their Ooh, leader. Yeah. Or Ooh yes. And then every mage has like a it's like from a different species. Uh huh. Uh huh. The humanoids. So we have the the the, the elves, the, the dwarves, and the the mer people. Uh huh. Yeah, I stomped on your face. <laughs> What's in between as far as like terrain goes? In be uh, between us and uh, lots, well, it would be great uh, lots of ocean. Nice. If we want to connect our bases together, it would be great if your castle had a back exit. Yeah. Or back entrance. Yeah. It. Because um, otherwise we otherwise we would have to go all the way around the ice farm. If, uh, <laughs> yeah. To go over to you. It's definitely going to have a back that at least somewhat matches the front. It won't be as big and grand because the back side... I'm actually about to put the interior in, um, though I need a mm. ton of black dye. Um, but the back side is, yeah, going to kind of match the front a little bit. Not completely. So, like, the entrance in the back will probably, probably go into the underneath area directly rather than in in this main area but that will happen mm -hmm. so there's a lot of ocean okay because i was planning okay oh, okay sorry, okay i accidentally muted myself oh <laughs> you were planning to do what i was planning to make like an ocean town harbor kind of situation down here mm -hmm. um 
Yeah. But you could do something. I don't know. There's there's a lot of like yeah the meadows and plains in between. Huh. I'm trying to think like what. I mean, if you go over to this like stony area here. What I. Like to the. Ooh. There's a Ooh, little bit. Okay, far there's away a little bit of base. a waterway. Let's see. Does it connect up to your guys' waterways at all? No, it does not. Where you at? I kind of came uh -oh. straight down from the back. There's a little, like, stony beach area. Yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah, hi. You. Okay, if you go this way, this way, follow me. Mm hmm Over this little mountain, which is weirdly covered with snow. <laughs> this area, this Ooh, is linked yeah. up with our base. Okay. Okay, we, I can work with that. Obviously, my primary focus is kind of delving downwards. Um, mm -hmm. from, from this primary area of the base, which is empty and useless, but it's fine. Well, we have a great hall and what a great hall it is. Oh, this is cool. Now there is a lot of detailing that's going to go into this. Uh, not in this episode though. And that will make a lot of this pop more, but I definitely wanted it to be dark and most of the attention brought here to the center. There's going to be something extra super special right in here. But, oh man, it's huge and mysterious and so cool. And, well, you don't really get to do the floor justice until you look at it from above. Look at that. Look at that. It's so pretty. Anyways, there's going to be so much lore in this area and this neighborhood as it gets built up. And, oh, we need to we, we need to deal with this part now. Now, what I think I want to do for these walls is we're going to kind of mirror the same shape that we have here. So, we'll go with the one, two, three, and then one, two. So, we'll replicate that on the other side. But then what we want to do is we want to come in and add a bunch of ice. Yeah, there we go. Just some big icicles dripping down the walls of this thing. And then the last little detail I want to add, actually, it might fit in down here quite well. So I want to put in just a few little bits of diamond ore. All right, this is gorgeous. I love it. It feels really, really good to have this all up. And I am so excited for the detailing. We'll get there, maybe next episode, but either way, very soon. So let's take a quick free cam peek. And so we've got our front. Our, and it's not just a facade anymore. There's actually things inside and behind. Now, up above doesn't look great, but we'll get there. I just need a lot more ice available to me before we can take on that exterior. Now, we're going to stand here in the giant hall because I want to. And when we were out with Amy, we got a new advancement. Here's a meadow. Meadows are a little more blue. I got you. I lost. Um, up past the village towards the yeah, snow again. Here. Yeah, I see it. The... Gotcha. There we go. I guess I have to. Oh. <laughs> nice. And I want to get a few more of those. I've been trying to get Sniper Duel for so long. And I think we just can't get it on the server as is. But maybe we can get Bullseye. And, oh, we don't have too many more of these left. We won't do those today, but that's good to know. 
we need <laughs> we we need to get this advancement. We can do that one easily. Well, we know where we have so many crossbows. You know what I don't have is a bunch of arrows. All right, let's see. Can we find a good crossbow in here? I'll be honest, I don't entirely know what the different crossbow enchants are and what they mean. Anyways, here's our friendly local pillager tower. And because I'm not just there to get a bad omen, we're going to... But doom. I don't know how this works. This feels weird. All right. There we go. Got it. Who's the pillager now? Certainly not the girl with all the arrows stuck in her. Crossbows are a little weird and janky, though, and I do not pretend to understand them. Now, let's count. From the doorway, one, two, three, four, five. Thirty. All right, we'll put it there so we don't mess with the glow lichen. And then... We stand here. And we line her up. Let's see. Oh, close. All right. That thing is flaming. All right, doing this with a flame bow is not great. You know, while it's going, we have some lovely chiseled bookshelves downstairs. We grab a couple books. And we grab a comparator. <clears throat> we can get another advancement real easy. All right, do we have any on the ground? There we go, there's one. All right. Oh, I didn't even need books. Great, cool. Nah, we're gonna, we're gonna put it in anyways. Just to see it light up. Happy, happiness. There it is! Oh my goodness, that took so much. Oh my goodness, we did it. I ended up shooting a set of three, looking at the average area, and then making the teeny tiniest adjustments I could. Oh, we did it. Now, I think, let's end this little advancement collection off with a really chill, simple one. I'm pretty sure there is some jungle out this way. What, did you think we were going to cheat and go get our birds in the shopping district? Nah, we're going to do this the natural, organic way. There's some jungle... Time to find one of our favorite and somehow more one of our more elusive mobs. I never can find a parrot when I want one. <gasps> I just heard one though. Okay. Pretty little. Ugh. Where is it? Where is it? I hear it. <gasps> Hello. Hello, sweet thing. Let's crawl through here. Ah, there she is. Oh yeah. What a good burb. You've been so helpful. Have you been a helpful brandy? A helpful brandy? Okay, but pulling my, yeah. All right, let's look through our list here. We've got, is it a bird? We've got bullseye, which is two. And we got the power of books, who's the pillager now, and old Betsy. So, we got three, okay. Nice. Er, not three. Five. Yeah, my brain's braining today. Now, next time we do a set of these advancements, I would love to get some of our Strider buddies, because that is something I've wanted to do for a while. But for today, we've made some insane amounts of progress. 
And I absolutely love what we've done in this castle. Well, I have never experienced the feeling of awe at something that I've made. But I think this one, this one does it for me. Now, I'm real tired, so I'm going to go probably take a nap or something. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!